I look at Eric Spolstra, I look at Pat Riley, and I look at two guys that, if you have dynamic, difficult personalities, you know what? They're not going to be difficult in Miami. And you think about the leadership of Miami, because Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra are bigger than any player on the team right now. That's just the way it is, including Alonzo Mourning as part of their, their leadership. So it's a good fit, but here's my deal. I understand that, that it's a quick fix. The guy's 34 years old. He's a point guard. If he's going to play 34 minutes a game, how many years, how many games, how much better is your team going to be taking on that contract? Or is it more saying, you know, we want to make sure people understand we're trying to be competitive. We can't go a third year. They've gone two years in a row without the playoffs. We can't go a third year without a playoff, so we've got to get back in the playoffs. This doesn't help Pat Riley make that one more run, though, because they don't become a factor in the playoffs just with Chris Paul. So I'm not sure the investment is worth it. Hmm. Okay, I want to get your thoughts, both of you, on Kendrick Perkins. He had some interesting comments about playing with CP3. Let's take a listen to those. I don't like playing with him. It's to the point now that we know that teammates, guys, do not like playing with Chris Paul. And I've heard this from several guys that's been on his team. And you could tell just by even look at the animosity when the Rockets and Clippers played against one another. Look at the beef, the tension. And everybody was surprised. Oh, Rondo was out of character. Rondo did this. No, CP3 out of character. And it's time for him to start looking himself in the mirror. Okay, what do we think? I like that. So first and foremost, Perk is having an amazing rookie season. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my guy, 150 grand. No shots, no shade, that's my guy. I wish I had a beard like his. Yeah, you do. But who's his right-hand man in the league? Rajon Rondo. Mm. Who did Rajon Rondo have fisticuffs with this year? Chris Paul. Yep. So okay. whose side you think he's okay. going to take? Okay. Number one. That's number one, coach. But number two, there is some validity to what Perk said. Yeah. And here's why. Because Chris Paul is kind of like an irritant. He is. <laughs> if, if that guy was a boxer or an MMA, MMA fighter or even seven foot tall, you wouldn't want any problems with him. Yeah. But since he's a guard, you see that level of behavior and you like just shoo him out of the way like a little net, like a fly, like watch out. But he ain't going nowhere. And that level of competitive spirit, Laura and coach, is what he brings to a locker room. And that can be frustrating sometimes if you're Blake Griffin or DeAndre Jordan or young players who he feels like value a lot of other things besides just winning today's Does basketball Does he ever look game. in the mirror? Does he ever look? Here, here's my thing. Look, if you want to leave, because he's a leader, the ball's in his hands, he's mm -hmm. a leader, you've got to get people to follow you. Yep. So, you know, you can catch more bees with honey. Mm -hmm. So, like, to me, he can be an irritant. He can be competitive. Look, I love his game. I mean, you know, that has nothing to do with it, although his game's not what it used to be. But if you want to lead, you got to figure out a way to get other people to follow you. And right now, I agree with Perk because, you know, he's hard to play with. And the biggest thing is so, he's got to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm not the guy I used to be. So, you know what, I've got to figure out a way to look in the mirror and say, what can I do well now, not just because is, look in the mirror how I used to be. Okay, is Miami, if he ends up there, does that make him look in the mirror with the people he'll, he'll be playing with? Well, because what ends up happening is you have people that are like-minded surrounding you. Mm. So they're going to validate everything that you say because they feel the exact way. This is how Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra operate. This is how Jimmy Butler operates. When he jumped up and went to Miami, people was like, did that just happen? He took himself off the board as a major free agent. But when you're a guy like Chris Paul, a future Hall of Famer, I didn't realize I was going to wake up and die on this hill this morning that I'm actually defending the leadership of Chris Paul, <laughs> one of the best ones in the game, and the productivity of Russell Westbrook, who, by the way, has been an MVP recently. You I didn't know, know that was hey. going to happen this morning, but I'll hey, be that you guy. You never know what's going to happen on Get Up in the Morning. You Sometimes you got to go outside your comfort zone. <laughs> okay. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.